So I'm back in the uh, garage, folks. It's uh, apparently uh, Unky Steve. You might have seen Unky Steve. He's the uh, he, he was a guest appearance on one of my videos. And um, Unky Steve says the uh, acoustics in here is okay. It's not so echoey, 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 echoey as in the kitchen. So uh, I'm in the garage and it's all right. Um, apparently, so, well, some of you have been asking for Unky Steve to do uh, more reviews. And um, somebody says get him to review alcoholic beverages. Um Unky Steve's blind, and if he gets drunk, it's not a pretty sight. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll tell you what. If you want uh, Unky Steve to have a beer with me, um, like Stone Cold, Steve Austin, um, give me a hell yeah. Right. Um, right. This video, you are probably uh, thinking, what's it about? If you haven't read the title, some of you don't. I think what happens is, as soon as some of mine comes up, somebody's there and they click first. And they're going first and second. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. This YouTube world is completely new to me, folks, right? Yeah, I know YouTube's there. Uh, it's been in there for years, but you used to watch your, your videos of your favourite pop uh, artist things. In excess were mine. Um, seeing him about... Uh, how many times have I seen an excess lie? Six or seven, I think. Absolutely brilliant. Loved them. Loved an excess. Um, I actually won tickets on the Radio One, uh, Radio One, for a secret gig. Can you remember when they used to do the secret gigs and they had two hundred tickets? Now I won a ticket. Me and my mate Berto, uh, the late great Rob Berto. Uh, we went down to see him at a secret studio in London. It was the morning. It was the morning of the uh, Michael Hutchins and Paula Yates on the bed in the uh, Big Breakfast household. It was that day. And uh, met them outside afterwards. Uh, they signed autographs and stuff. I lost that piece of paper when I moved out. That was a killer. Can't believe I lost it. Um, yeah, but uh, all right. Gary, Gary Beers, he looked out his bloody head. I don't know what he took. It certainly wasn't bloody anodine that day. But fair play to you. You're a rock star. So uh, you're probably sitting there thinking, uh, what are you going to review today, Blue Van Man? If you haven't read the title, what food or drink are you going to do? Well, I'm not. I'm not. I am going to review something for all the people, right? So many people that uh, go through life hand in hand, through part life. You know what I mean? It's for people who wear steel toe caps. And um, for people who know who wear steel toe caps, you'll know where I'm coming from on here, right? Because I would hazard a guess that you all probably do the same. Um, what it is, you put your boots on, you go to work, you get take your boots off, and you've got a hole in the toe. It's the big toe bit, right? And you think, oh, bloody hell, must cut your toenails, must cut your toenails. So you go to cut your toenails. And you can't find the bloody clippers because the kids put them somewhere. The wives put them somewhere. They weren't where you put them. They never are where you put them. They never are. Never, never, never where you put them. So you think, oh, sorry. Right, I'll put them in the wash. And what I'll do is I'll wear the toe, uh, the sock with the toe, uh, hole in the toe. I'll wear it on the other foot. So that way I'll be all right. But in the meantime, while they're being washed, I'll try and cut my toenails. So what you do is you go to work the next day. Uh, you think, oh, shit, I should have cut my toenails. You don't, you forgot, but you can't have a, you ain't got time because you've got to get up to work. You've got to defrost the bloody van or your car because you've had a bit of frost and you forgot to put the thing on the windscreen overnight. You're thinking, bloody hell, I'm going to be late. I've got the papers. Ah, <sighs> To get, so yeah, anyway, you put your socks on, you go off to work, you come back, you think, oh shit, I've got a hole in my sock now. I've got another one. So you've got a pair, so I put it in this washing. <sighs> Next time I'll do it. So then what happens is, the socks get paired up and you put them on and you've got a hole in each bloody sock because you've been too stupid not to throw the bloody socks away. But you can't throw them away because you keep throwing all your socks away. You've got nothing to wear for work. So what you do is then you go down Primark again and you buy the cheap, crappy socks. Right. And it goes through again. Then you find the bloody toenail cutters and the toenails are shooting off all over the place because you've not like wet your feet first because if you damn your feet your toenails go soft so they don't shoot it off 
So you go through this stupid cycle all the while. Anyway, one day I was walking around, um, guess where? Own bargains. That's right. Give yourself a pat on the back, right? I walk around own bargains and I've seen these socks. Not these ones because I've already got some more, but uh, JCB, right? Work socks. Three pairs, two ninety nine. That works out about is it a pound a pair, something like that. Don't let me calculate. It's a pound a pair in it. Um, they do do other flavored socks. Um, it's they do different flavored ones where they've got different colored toes and all that kind of thing. But for some reason, they've only got these in home bargains today. I've just been Morrison's and they're six pound, six pound own bargains. It's a bloody bargain. You can't argue it, can you? It's just, I don't know how can they do it and then others can't. I do, it's just unbelievable. So, but what's so special about these socks, right? I've had these other socks. Uh, I bought a three pair, a three pack. They were the day. Not no more. And um, I bought a three pack. I bought them before Christmas. We're now uh, at the end of March and there is no sign of a hole in my toe on my sock at all. Granted, right? My toenails are short, all that. I mean, sometimes you just forget to do your toenails. It's easy to do your fingers, isn't it? Because you just like that. But there you go. Am I waffling? I think I'm waffling. What am I on? Six, seven minutes. And I've waffled on. I think you haven't even started it. Um, so these socks are absolutely brilliant, right? There's a little thing on the back that tells you all about the sock. It's made with cotton yarns for excellent abs absorption. Absor it soaks in well, right? It soaks in well. Excellent absorption. Absor I can't see it. Why is it I make myself look a prick? Now, you see, this is the best thing um, about my videos. If that was somebody else, if that was somebody else, they'd probably stop that, edit it. And you know that bit where it jumps? It jumps. No. Don't do that. Don't. I don't. No. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you all how to view videos and all that kind of thing and everything like that. But just be normal. Just be. Just act as you're talking to somebody in the canteen at work or in the pub or wherever. Just be normal. That's what people want to be normal. They don't want you to be some kind of. I don't know. I fucking I got a clue. Really. I'm just talking bollocks. Uh, right. Abseration. Absor. Absor. Abs. Abs. Absorb. Ab oh, I can't say it. Anyway, next one. Ribbed leg provides support, and it does. It does pr provide support. It makes you. I think it stops you from getting that kind of deep vein, deep vein. Uh, oh, bloody hell! Deep vein thrombosis. Right. I think that's what it is. But it, it does add support around your your, your shin, uh, your calf muscles. It's cushion there. Uh, cushion Terry. Terry. Cushion Terry for over. Oh, Cushion Terry sole for comfort and absorbing impact. Now it does, right? Because at the end of the day, right, sometimes uh, you, your feet are aching at the bottom. I mean, I'm 20 odd stone, right? I'm, I, I mean, I, I, I'll also just say, folks, thank you to all the people who send me the messages saying that I'll be in the diabetic club and I'll be a heart attack waiting. It's so touching that you actually managed to put your colouring book down to do that insult to me. Or you actually care enough about me to send that? It's touchy, really touchy. Right? So your feet ache at the end of the day. Uh, I wear Caterpillar boots. And uh, I, I, I love my Caterpillar boots. My place of work pay, uh, I think they pay tw uh, £30 or £35 towards a new pair of boots. And then you can choose your boot. You can either pay, buy a pair of boots for 35 quid that cost you nothing cost the company 35 quid or you can be sensible smart and intelligent and think i'm on my feet for 12 hours a day i best wear the best boots i can find because then it won't hurt my feet so i always have caterpillars right so i end up paying an extra 50 notes or something like that and um it's it just makes sense to do it just makes sense don't be so tight think of your body think of your fat body and your feet and everybody's happy and it's got a re and this is the important bit, right, folks? This is the important bit. A reinforced heel and toe for ultimate durability, ideal with steel toe caps. Can you see that? 
steel toe caps. Right? Now, one of the good things about these, the first time you wear them, yes, you get all that fluff between your toes and it's all over the bedroom floor and all that kind of stuff. Once you've worn them once or twice, that goes and you haven't got that black fluff in between your toes and all that kind of stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll turn it around so you can see it. So, folks, if you wear steel toe caps, male or female people, transgender or bigender or whatever you are, right? Um, and you and you keep going through your socks because you keep buying the cheap ones from Primark or the Tesco Zone brand or whatever. Stop. Stop now. Go and get yourself some of these and save yourself a fortune. Because them socks from bloody Tesco's and that or wherever, Primark, they're about seven quid, ain't they? Are they seven quid or is that the pants? Can't remember. Whatever. It's still... Right, and I, my most shift I do is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One pair each day, right? And then I get two days off. And then I do two days. And then I get a weekend off. And it's brilliant. So, people, if you do have trouble with your steel toe caps and your socks and you keep putting your toe through them and you still keep cutting your nails and you do all that and you still keep spending a fortune and you keep getting up and you got you get dressed in the morning and you put the sock on it. Oh, God, I'll leave sock, right? And the good on the heels as well. The heels is another thing. Because when you're walking, I mean, we're walking up and down the factory, up and down the stairs and stuff. Um, you do wear the heels out. And they don't wear out. They just do not wear out, folks. So, and i tell you something else about them. Even in the hot weather, your feet don't get hot. And in the cold weather, they keep your feet warm. They're an excellent piece of kit. This company, really, this JCB, they really should do other things. They should try making machinery and stuff because if the machinery would be as good as the socks, they're on to a winner. They're on to a winner. Okay, folks, uh, take that a bit of advice. That is, that is one thing I do honestly say you people should buy. You know, I buy the, I do these food and drinks, uh, food and drink reviews, and in the end of the day, it's your own choice of what you buy. But these... I definitely would say go and buy yourself some work socks with a, with a reinforced toe. You, you, you daft not to. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can't see. 13 minutes or so. All right, folks. Laters.